Hi everyone, happy Thanksgiving. Today's Thanksgiving day, and this guy right here, or this guy, he's a little bit bigger, the white one, is going to be our Thanksgiving meat. We are having duck as opposed to turkey because it is nice and moist and oily and greasy and nobody in our house is favorable to dry turkey. So we are going to uh, eliminate the ducks. We're probably gonna do all of them to get them in the freezer uh, to simplify the process. I have given them fresh clean water so that they can bathe themselves to get as clean as possible because I am going to reuse their feathers for stuffing our old pillows. Because if you've ever had feather pillows, you know that they thin out over the years. And if you pull your headboard out away from the wall. The uh, this is our setup for scalding. And we've used some cinder blocks and we had these metal posts from an old swing set that were left behind. We've set a fire underneath the barrel. This is a 55 gallon barrel that's been cut in half with a torch. And we washed it out with some dish soap. And now we're filling it with water and a little bit of soap for uh, scalding the ducks. A little bit of Dawn will clean their feathers and get through the oil in their feathers to make it easier for plucking. And over here, since we've got the trailer out, we're not going to use a table. We've got a bucket for the innards. We've got um, all the cutlery and the cutting board for working on. We have a steel for sharpening the knives if necessary. I have some poultry cutting scissors handy. A bowl for the liver and gizzards that we're going to use for the gravy. And of course a cloth for wiping our hands. A lot of um, pin feathers and hair get left behind. So you pour a little bit of alcohol into a lid and set it on fire and you can use that um, flame to burn those off. I have some flocked gloves. Uh, the inside is lined for handling the hot duck. And then I have this pot with dish soap for putting the feathers we're gonna keep to start washing them because we're gonna use them for stuffing pillows. And then I have a bag for the um, other feathers that we're not going to use, like the wing and tail feathers. So this is our setup for doing the what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to dip them in up and down. Then, oh, really? then the Don gets all up in his feet and stuff. In his feet? Or into his feathers. Like this? Yes. Uh huh. Cleans them? Yep, you're supposed to be able to swirl them around a little bit. Oh man, the smoke. Yes, the smoke is awful. We have the water boiling at 145 degrees. We bought a big candy thermometer from the home section at the Meyer store. Uh, we um, just cut the throat of the duck so they're not flopping around on the ground from... Now that's good. And you just want to soak them for one to three minutes. It's best to do it in a plunging motion up and down. So it's time to pull them out. Or maybe a little longer. I guess it's been a minute since you started. There, there's a special glove here. That's like your fuel, fuel gloves. We have the flat gloves. So we've started uh, plucking the duck and I just wanted to show you the oil gland. It's here right on its back and there's two like openings on it. You want to cut the whole thing off and then uh, to in, do the incision for um, cutting and taking out his innards, you're supposed to do it just up here, about three inches. So this is him and this is how the plucking's going. 